good morning people of god unto you is minister adan nayo suchuku today we'll be looking at the book of psalm 42 verse 7 and it says the deep called unto the deep at the noise of the water spruits all the waves flows are gone over me first of all who is the deep god is deep god is deep this is the call of god to man to humanity this is god calling man into his righteousness this is the call of god to man into his kingdom deep call it unto the deep the depth of a man is the soul of a man that is the call of god to man god calling man to his salvation calling the soul of a man to be safe calling the soul of a man to be alive to have the life of god that is what this bible verse is talking about the deep call it unto the deep that flesh the lust of a man will cease the lust of a man will no more exist the lust of a man will no more have a meaning in the life of a man that is the dryness of lust instead of a man that the soul of a man will become a living soul and the word of god so that he breathed life into the soul of a man a man became a living soul that is the soul of a man the soul of a man receiving the life of god that is the depth of god calling man into the mysteries of the kingdom of god the life of a man being renewed in christ man becoming a new man this is the call of his salvation the lord is calling someone this morning into his salvation the lord is calling man he's calling man into intimacy he's calling you you might be the person that the lord is calling this morning that your soul will be saved the soul of a man is so important to god is so important to god that he made a covenant with noah saying that he will never destroy the earth again with flood that is the mystery of a man in flesh that he will never destroy a man again with flood that means there will be no more condemnation for a man man will no more be condemned the soul of a man will be saved god is calling man into repentance god is calling man into his light and the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and it says and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep darkness was upon the face of the deep that means man was in what man was in ignorance man was lost man was lost man was without form one was hopeless the life of a man had no meaning and he said that the spirit of god moved upon upon men and the spirit of god move upon the face of the water water is the mystery of man god visited the soul of a man for man to be safe for man to resurrect for the soul of a man who is that he said in his word that the years that the canker worms the lookups, the grass cutter has eaten that it's time for restoration. That the soul of a man will be restored. Those years which the devil has played gamble with your soul. The Lord is about to restore the soul of a man this morning. The soul of a man is being restored this morning. The soul of a man is being restored this morning. The years that man has lost dwelling in sin the years that man has lost dwelling in iniquity god is saying this morning it's time for restoration to restore the soul of a man back to what he predestined it to be restoring the soul of a man god is calling man god is calling the soul of a man to salvation this morning the word of god said that it pleases god that all men will be saved 
<laughs> it pleases God that everything that he created will be saved. That man will not see the second death. God is calling you this morning. God is calling you this morning. Make your ways right with God. Make your ways right with God. The owner of the universe, the owner of your soul is calling your soul. The ancient of days. The ancient of days is the side of a man. The bone of a man is the ancient of days. It changes not. That is why the bones, even after man is dead, the bone is still there. Even if it takes ages, decade of years, you will still go back and see the carcass of a man because that is the ancient of days. It is there. It's inside of your soul. It cannot change. He said, and now will resurrect. The bones will resurrect. The resurrection of the bone will resurrect with God in glory. We resurrect with Christ in glory. The resurrection of man. is the resurrection of the soul of a man. God is calling this. The soul of a man. To become one in Christ. In my father's house. There are different mansions. The soul of a man is the mansion of God. The soul of a man is the mansion of God. Do not be deceived. Your soul is the mansion of God. Your soul is the mansion of God. In my father's house, there are many mansions. That is your soul. Your soul is the mansion of God. Repent now as you hear this call. The Lord is calling man into salvation this morning. Change your mind. Change your thinking. Change how you see life. Begin to see the spiritual aspect of life. God does not care about the physical life. I must tell you the truth. What matters to the Lord is the spiritual life. The call of your soul. That your soul will be saved. May God help us all. May God help us all to hear the trumpet and the sound. The trumpet you hear is this voice that you hear this morning that is calling you into repentance, that is calling you into a place of change. I pray for you this morning. <laughs> May your soul be restored. May that breath, which the Spirit of God breath into the life of man to become a living soul, may He locate you this morning. May He locate you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your word that has come strong this morning to heal the soul of man. To bring men out of captivity. To bring men out of bondage. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Halabashata, halabashata. Thank you, ancient of this. Thank you for living in us. Thank you for dwelling in us. Thank you for making our, our soul your dwelling place, Jesus, Lord. Thank you for your land will be healed. For the earth will be restored. Thank you for at the last day, we shall not be found wanting. We shall not be found wanting. That we shall resurrect with you in glory. Through your son, through your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. For I know that your word will hit somebody this morning for a change. Thank you, glorious Father. Be that way sorted now and forevermore. Amen and amen. <laughs>